This is uh, now question two for uh, Edexcel uh, C3, June 2015 paper. Now, question two, we're told uh, a given function of x, uh, we said f of x is uh, 2e to the x minus 5. x can be any real number. Now, you don't need to worry about that. Um, just means any number you can think of. Okay, I do uh, mention that all the time. So, uh, unless you're doing further maths, you sh uh, well, it doesn't make a difference in this question, even if you are, because it has no relevance to it. That's just the examiner trying to seem a bit more intelligent. Um, so I personally cross that out. Uh, anyway, the first one we're uh, asked to draw is actually quite a nice one. Uh, it's very unusual to just simply ask you to draw the equation of the curve. Um, I mean, you know, for some people it's worse than others. So, as I said, it's just asking us to draw that a curve. Now. What this essentially is, it, it, it doesn't tell you, it's quite a roundabout way. What it actually is, is e to the x curve, and they've modified it. So, already without telling you, they've already basically asking you to do um, a translation. Now, we have to break this down, because in the C1, they only give you one translation. Uh, in this, they obviously give you two, because it's C3, and you assume to be that little bit more intelligent. Well, assume to be anyway. Uh, so... Break this down. So what is it actually done? Well, what we've got here is an e to the x graph that has been times by 2. Um, so what we say is the equation is y is equal to 2 f of x. Um, assuming the normal graph was e to the x. So if it was e to the x and we've times it all by 2, then we've times each y equation, uh, y coordinate by 2. So we've stretched it parallel um, to the y axis by a factor of 2. So basically we've times all the y coordinates by 2. The x coordinates haven't been affected. However, the um, graph has, has also been moved down by five, so it's almost count it's counteracted that. So you think where was the original intercept on the y-axis? Well, it was at one times it by two, get to two, move it down, you get to minus three. So therefore, the intercept becomes minus three or zero minus three. But if you were to follow the, draw this on now, the standard kind of curve that you would get, we get a x intercept here. We would call this y equals f of x. So what is this intercept over here? Well, obviously, the, you go back to uh, basic stuff. Um, we want, we'll see. Um, so it's going to be some kind of weird uh, number. Now, we, it crosses it where the y coordinate is 0. So you do 0 equals 2 to the x, take 5. So 0 equals 2 to the x, take 5. So therefore, 2 e to the x equals 5. Um, so therefore, e to the x equals uh, 5 over 2, or 2.5. Um, and then you just ln both sides, or natural log both sides. So you just get x is equal to the natural log of 5 over 2. And obviously, the y coordinate is 0, so it's the ln of 5 over 2. Zero. Okay? So there are the two intercepts. Now, we're not done because it's all asked us to draw the equation of the curve. Now, whether you, whether you um, intercept was uh, at one, we have a, um, we have a, an asymptote um, at zero. Yeah, so, um, what we do here is we apply the same method and we get it at minus 5. So it's y equals minus 5. Now it's not just minus 5, because if it was just minus 5, then that's not an equation. Alright, so it's just y equals minus 5. The next one, y equals the modulus of f of x. Now, what this says is the modulus of the whole thing. So, without knowing, if just knowing that modulus turns it positive, if the... Uh, the best way to describe this is, I mean, if you if you know it, I'll tell you. It's basically, it just doesn't go below the y-axis, so it's a reflection in the y-axis. Uh, sorry, in the x-axis, doesn't go below the x-axis. Oh, what am I talking about? So, obviously, what they're saying is all the y coordinates are going to be positive. Now, they're not going to change in magnitude, they're just going to be positive. So the first one, so going from right to left up to the ln of 5 over 2, that's going to be exactly the same for both graphs. Okay, so it's the modulus of the whole thing. However, past this point, this goes negative. We can't have negative y coordinates. 
So therefore, it's just a reflection. So this is just reflected up here. The exact same graph, and the intercepts are exactly the same. So that's zero, positive three this time. Um, and that's at the ln of five over two, zero. Okay. But we still need to draw the asymptote on here. Now, the asymptote is... Um, Uh, y equals 5. Okay. Personally, I think it's y equals 4, actually. And I think that should be y equals minus 4. But just on my answer sheet here, it says y equals minus 5. So debate with that about what you want, but personally, I think that's minus four and that's four because that makes sense to me. But as I said, the mark scheme, the person who's done the mark scheme for me, um, well, correct. Um, I did a few extras in. They say it's minus five, but personally, I don't see where they've got that from. Um, so that's up to you what to believe. Um, as this is obviously not in a, uh, an endorsed whatever. Um, now. The next part says, deduce the set of values for which uh, f of x, so the, mod the normal graph, is equal to the modulus of that graph. Now, w what I started to do when I saw this is, what I normally do when I see a modulus equals a, a non-modulus, what I did was, okay, well, the f of x, therefore, is equal to the positive or negative times of the, mo the, modul the normal curve. Now, if you did that, you'd end up with a real mess because it's asking you for the range of values. Well, in fact, it's only worth one mark, so it's a lot more simple than that. Now, we have to think, OK, well, in maths, the part A generally leads to the part B, or the part B generally leads to the part C. So we've just done our two graphs here. There's nothing going to help us in some way. Now, what, remember what we said. We're told where f of x is equal to the modulus of that. Okay, so basically, what is that saying where y equals f of x is equal to y's modulus of f of x? So we have to look at these two graphs and say, okay, well, where are they equal? Well, if you start from the left-hand side, they're completely different because this is above the x-axis and this is, uh, so yeah, this is below. Now, they have absolutely no, I mean, they're the same magnitude, yes, but they're not equal because one's positive and the other's negative version. However, after the intercept L uh, and 5 over 2, then they're the same. So basically, it's the sticky bit here. They worry that. So after, so basically we would say x is greater uh, or equal to the ln of 5 over 2 or 2.5. Uh, that is where they are equal. Okay, so it's only worth one mark, so that's all you had to say. Right, so the next bit is a little bit... Um, more like what, what we were trying to think of just then. Um, right, so as I said, um, it's just a case of. Right, um, one sec, actually. Let's get my rubber. Give us a bit more space. So, what we're told to find is where the modulus of that graph um, is equal to 2. Okay, so where the modulus of f of x is equal to 2. Okay, so obviously you do plus or minus times the original curve and make that equal to 2. Okay, um, so the th first thing I'm going to do is do the positive version. So it's positive times 2e to the x, take 5, we say that's equal to 2. Okay, so expand this out, obviously not going to change anything, but it's worth it there so when we do the negative we know what we're dealing with so it's 2e to the x equal take 5 equals 2 so therefore 2e to the x equals 7 so therefore e to the x equals 7 on 2 so therefore x equals the ln of 7 on 2 okay so however we also need to do the negative version of this so therefore you do negative 2 e to the x um, plus 5 equals 2 so therefore negative 2 e to the x equals 
uh, because we're taking away 5 from both sides, it becomes negative 3. So therefore, divide both sides by negative 2 um, and ln it. So it, x equals um, the ln of 3 over 2. Or e to the x equals um, 3 over 2. So therefore, x equals the ln of 3 over 2. So these are our two possible values. Okay, that's worth a nice uh, three marks. Now it does say um, exact solutions, so obviously we wouldn't work them out. And if it didn't say exact solutions, I would still leave it as that. I would only change it to decimals if it specifically asked you to. Uh, otherwise, you're just getting yourself in the right mess. Okay? Um, because anyone can type that in and get the correct answer. Whereas if anyone uses your decimal, the maximum accuracy they can have it to is what you've given it to in the decimal form. Um, so that's why the examiners prefer it in this exact form. Uh, also, it helps you to be a little bit more lazy, which I think is always good. Okay, so question two is quite nice, really. It's just a case of drawing graphs. Um, now, as I said in the last question, um, this video could be taken down. So if you do want me to uh, message you the, um, the questions and answers, um, I definitely won't do that over email. Uh, so anyway, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Oh, sorry, this is um, a really, really uh, stupid addition I had to make. Um, anyway, so, uh, just a, a, an extension, really, to question number two. Uh, this is uh, really for the first part of question two, um, rather than the last part. But I was just mentioning in that video, um, I wasn't sure what the asymptote was. Well, it is uh, plus five for part one, and, uh, sorry, negative five for part one. Uh, and positive 5 for part 2. Um, that's because obviously this is where intercepts are 0, 3, but this actually stops about 0, 4, so you have to do one below that for the asymptote. Um, well, it's 0 minus 4, but you get the gist for both. Um, sorry about that, I really do apologise. Generally, it doesn't happen. Um, it's generally a lot more slick than this, but um, as you can see, I definitely didn't get that wrong when I actually attempted this paper. Um, but anyway, sorry about that, so hopefully that's cleared everything up. Um, and, you know, I do apologise, so see you in the next video.